Hello and welcome. I'm your host, David Hoffman. This is a short episode intended to be a companion to the previous episode where we explored generating colors with a 3-lead bicolor LED. You can download the source code for this episode as well as for previous episodes from magidavid.com. I wanted to share this program that demonstrates mixing the LED's colors gradually, just like we did in the previous episode with the potentiometers. We start with the LED completely off and then slowly bring up the green LED to full power. Next, the red LED's brightness is slowly increased until we reach full brightness, taking us from green to yellow and finally to orange. And then the green LED is reduced until completely off, leaving us with just the red LED on. And finally, the red LED is reduced until the LED is completely off again and then the cycle starts over. Now, this code isn't final and still has a few bugs to be worked out, but it demonstrates that we can get some interesting effects using PWM. To get an idea of what the signal for the green LED looks like, we can see the signal here on the oscilloscope. You can see the waveform change as the duty cycle increases and decreases. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the code. The main routine consists of four blocks of code. Each block is responsible for increasing or decreasing a particular LED color. The first line calls LED pause, which refreshes the display. Next, the value contained in LED loop 2 is copied into the working register, and then the working register is copied into LED temp G. This changes the current on-off value for that LED, so when we do our next refresh, the LED will have a different duty cycle than the previous LED refresh. And once the loop is complete, LED temp G is left with a value of FF, or fully on. The next block of code operates the same way, except we turn on the red LED over time. The next block of code turns off the green LED over time and the last block of code turns off the red LED over time. I also made some changes to the LED update routine, so let's look at those. The first thing you'll notice is that the call for the LED on and off routines have been replaced with bit setup and bit clear F commands. There's simply no point in having a subroutine with a single command, so I simplified the code. The only other change is that I've commented all the code to help identify what each routine command is doing. Doing this is only good programming practice, and in all future episodes, comments will be included. You can download the code for this demo from magidavid.com, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the video section below, or you can contact me directly. And be sure to check out these other assembly language programming episodes. Thanks for watching.